I get to take care of patients who have a hereditary risk for developing cancer. One of the best parts of this is that if we can understand someone's genetic risk for developing cancer, then we can help them take direct steps to actually prevent them from developing a cancer later. So this is truly cancer prevention. When I see patients, I get to understand what their past history with cancer is either personally or with a family member. So we start by getting to know a little bit about what their experience has been like. I spend a lot of time collecting a family history of cancer and we draw that out in a visual format known as the family tree or pedigree. And then um, based on their family history and based on their personal history of cancer and other risk factors, we look at would testing be helpful in this, in this particular family or who would be the best person to do genetic testing in first and then go through a discussion of what genetic testing may be able to provide or what it may not be able to provide for that individual family. No two families are, are alike, which is um, kind of an interesting part of the job, just the dynamics of getting to know all different kinds of families and, and, and how they interact with each other. When a family is presenting or coming in for genetic counseling and we've decided that we're gonna do genetic testing, it's done one of a couple different ways. A lot of times it's a blood test and sometimes it's a saliva test. Those are the two most common ways we do it, so it's not um, particularly painful or, or difficult. Testing is not instantaneous. It takes three to four weeks to get results, so patients have to kind of kind of wait through that piece of it. Surprisingly, genetic testing is now covered by a lot of insurance programs, and so um, my job is to kind of help them wade through that that challenge as well. But we are getting it covered um, because knowing that information can make a difference down the line. Once we start genetic testing, if we if we find a family has genetic predisposition, so we find a genetic um, error message or a mutation in one family member, then we can reach out to other family members. So for example, if someone has a mutation, their children have a 50% chance, each child, of having that mutation. Their siblings have a 50% of having that mutation. And then we can work out further to cousins and aunts and uncles and, and um, throughout the family tree. Some families, it's just a couple members we might test. It's a long process.